Today, I decided to bring some light on a confusing for beginners topic, LERP. It is a powerful tool that is actually very easy to use if you know how to. And in this video, I'll explain what is a LERP, where you can use it and most important, how to use it. My name is Alex and let's begin. LERP is a method used to find a value between two points or to smoothly transition from one value to another over time. It's like saying I'm here, I want to get there and this is the size of my step. You can use LERP for different purposes, including moving objects, changing colors, scaling and so much more. In this example, I use LERP to make a nice camera transition. In this example, I'm using LERP to fade the screen. In this example, we're using LERP to make characters smoothly grab the gun and over here, we're using LERP to steer wheels of the car. Whenever you need to do smooth transition from one value to another, LERP can be super helpful. But first, you need to understand how to get a LERP value. And it can be easily done with a single line of code. You just need to set a start point, the end point, and a step value that basically works as a percentage. LERP value from 0 to 10 with a step of 1 would be 10. If you set step to 0.5, it will return you 5. If you have value of 0.3 as a step, it will return you 3. So basically it's like saying by how many percent you want to move from one value to another. All of this can allow you not only to get certain value, but use it to do smooth transitions. If you just use this line of code in the update and multiply step by time dot delta time, you'll have a smooth and frame rate independent transition from one value to another. Let's use lerp to move the object for example. Every time lerp value will be equals to 50% of the remaining value, making each step smaller and smaller. Because of that, object will slow down before reaching destination. You might say it looks weird and unnecessary, and you might be right if we're using cubes. But if we use cars for example, I'm sure you would like to have slowly stopping car in the end. And in this case, lerp shows itself much better. Another example. You could easily make fade out or fade in effect by using lerp. And I know this entire script may be confusing for beginners, but I just needed to show you what is lerp capable of. If you want to understand this script fully, let me know in the comments, I'll make a video on a fade in and fade out effect. So as you can see, lerp can be used for so many different cases. For example, you could adjust camera distance or you could scale up the object. You could make object float in the air or you could make animated UI just like I did here. There are so many cases it can be used for and I'm not saying it is always the best solution, but it is always good to have another tool in your arsenal. So what do you think about LERP? Can it be useful in your project? Leave your comments below. And I want to thank my students for support. Your reviews on the course are absolutely amazing and I'm blushing every time I read them. Also, I want to thank my Patreons and give special thanks to Friendly Robot. See you in the next video.